Welcome to Sew You. I'm Jen, and in this video, I will show you how to sew your own shopper bag, kind of like this. It's very easy to make and a whole lot of fun to use when you go to a store, buy something nice, and you can say no to a plastic bag, and instead put your precious goodies into your own handmade shopper bag. You can fold it together very nicely so it fits into every handbag. You can take it with you wherever you go. Plus, it's also machine washable in case it's not as clean anymore after a few shopping sprees. So take out your sewing machine right now, sew your own shopper bag and help protect the environment by using less plastic bags. Let's get started. First of all, we need to make sure that the edges of our fabric are in the straight of grain. Do this by cutting a few centimeters into the selvage and then ripping the small part away. When you do this, the fabric will rip along a single thread and therefore be in the straight of grain at the end. Now do the same again but make sure that the piece that you rip away is 8 cm wide. We're going to use that piece as the straps of our bag. My piece is 110 cm long. Now cut two rectangles that are 44 cm long and 38 cm wide. If you are also using a cotton fabric, I recommend washing it before you use it, because it might shrink. In the end, your pieces should look like this. Take one of the rectangles and place it on the table with the nice side facing downwards and the upper edge facing you. Take a tailor's chalk and make some markings 10 cm from the upper edge. Place the upper edge on your markings and iron the fold. Open it up again and place the upper edge directly onto the first fold. And now iron the second fold. Do this with both of your rectangles. Take the piece of fabric for your straps, fold it in half and iron it. Open the fabric and place one edge exactly onto the first fold. And now iron the second fold. Then Take the other edge and also place it directly onto the first fold and iron it. The better you iron now, the easier it will be on you when you sew the fabric together. Take your two rectangles, place them with the nice sides onto each other and pin the edges. Leave the upper edge open. Sew the two pieces together with a 1 cm distance from the edges. Secure the stitches at the beginning and at the end by sewing backwards and then forwards again. And because it was so much fun, sew along the first stitch again. This is an extra security to make sure that your bag holds all of your goodies for a very long time. Take your straps and sew along the open edge with a very small distance from the edge. Take your rectangular pieces and overlock along the edges that you already sewed. If you do not have an overlock machine, Use the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. To overlock corners, 
sew almost until the end of the fabric and leave the needle in the highest position. Lift the presser foot, turn the fabric and lower the presser foot and then carry on sewing. Fold the upper edge of your bag down again just like you already ironed it and pin it in place. And now sew the upper edge and don't forget to secure the stitches by sewing backwards and forwards again at the end. And then cut the threads off. Take the piece of fabric for your straps, fold it in half and cut it. Now you have two straps with the same length. Now it's time to pin the straps onto your bag. The endings of the straps should be folded towards the inside to look nicer on your bag. Measure 10 cm from the seams in both directions and make marks. Place each strap ending next to a mark and pin it in place. In the end your straps should look like this. Sew the straps onto the bag. Do this by stitching a rectangle first. And then sew across to each corner to give the straps extra stability. Sew backwards and forwards again at the end and then cut the threads off. Turn the bag inside out and then you're finished. Now if you want to, you can also decorate your bag to make it more unique and fun. I'm going to iron Sew You onto my bag and also sew on this little bow. And that's how you make your own shopper bag. Please subscribe, give me the thumbs up and write a comment if you like this video. Thank you for watching and have fun sewing!